Here in this code sample we create a router by calling the extend function on the backbone.router object. In return we get a reference for a new object, an object we can instantiate. As you can see the concept is very similar to creating new views and new models. Now when creating the new router, the router we can then initiate, instantiate, we specify possible patterns and their matching uh, method we want to be invoked or to be more specific, more um, accurate on the bottom over here calling the on function on the object that was instantiated from the router we created application router here each time I invoke whenever I invoke the on function I can specify the name of the root that match the anonymous function I pass over as the second argument. So if over here uh, we specify that every request that ends with uh, uh, students slash and a number means a request for invoking get student, it means according to this definition that this anonymous function will be invoked. The same with uh, this rule and this one. This one means that anything else will result in invoking default and default root default is defined with this anonymous function so if there is a request and it doesn't match neither this nor this option it means that this anonymous function will be invoked. Now if we take a look at this code sample when we browse it let's refresh pressing uh, this um, uh, let's take off this so uh, as you can see if I press this link get teacher ID 678 it means that a request will be sent for this URL address it is the URL address for the file rootingdemo.html you currently watch its uh, source code followed by this character and this uh, text. This text match this pattern meaning get teacher should be invoked meaning according to this this anonymous function will be invoked and we shall get printed to the console this specific text while the value passed over to this anonymous function is actually the value that takes place over here so as you can see pressing this and we get the message getting teacher and the number 678 because this anonymous function is invoked so we get this output to the console in a similar way if I press this link get something else then as you can see get something else means I initiate a request for this URL address and as you can see it ends with a text that doesn't match any of the patterns we specified meaning we fall into the default section meaning that this anonymous function will be invoked as you can see pressing here and we get default printed to the screen in order to have this mechanism working for us we must uh, invoke the start method on the backbone.history object otherwise the routing mechanism we have just covered won't work